so when we look at the history of the night gallery we uh, remember uh, several episodes were much stronger than the others and one of them that really stands out because it's kind of a harken back to the dc and Golke and carlton horror comics of the 1960s and 70s and of course we're talking about the great episode a camera obscura now this is a very shakespearean kind of gothic tale which uh, was written by the great uh, rod sterling uh based on a story by basil copper now it was directed by john Badham, who used a lot of visual tricks and uh, makeup to make the episode a good it's a very simple plot but very complex uh rennie overton one of the greatest actors of his generation uh, great success on MASH, Star Trek, Benson, all these great shows, plays a money lender called William Sharpstead Jr., the uh, the son of a well-known money lender in his home area. Now, he has come to the home of a Mr. Gingle, played by the overly excellent and great Miss Ross Martin, um, who was just coming off uh, a big co-starring role as Artemis Gordon on the great action series, The Wild Wild West. Now, Charstead shows up at, uh, at Gingle's place. He said, listen, uh, you owe me 300 pounds for a previous loan. Uh, Gingle uh, basically said, listen, I'm not going to pay you uh, because either he's unwilling or unable to pay. Now, uh, he shows uh, Gingle, uh, I mean, uh, Charstead, uh, a tour of his house, great art on the wall, and he kind of talks about his fascination with something called a camera obscure, which used a lot of very 19th century using very reflective lights and glasses to show a panoramic view of uh, an area. These, these uh, camera obscures were reflective from a, from a roof and uh, basically said, you know, this is, this is part of my hobby. But he said, something I really want to show you, I got a camera obscure, obscure that can show you the past. And he shows uh, Sharstead what seemed to be his father's error uh, decades before. And we have one last conversation. He said, are you going to stop uh, being a money lender, uh, you know, when we give breaks to the poor people? And he says, the Shar said, says, no. Well, he said, I wish you the best of luck. And when Shar said goes outside, he's transported allegedly into the area era of the late 1800s, early 1900s, where his father dominated as a money lender, where the, the, the home area or the corn exchange includes all kind of nefarious characters. And these uh, ghosts of his past, of Charles' past, start showing up, and he basically thinks he's hallucinating, and he's not. It seems like he's really caught in the camera obscure. Now, I'm not going to tell you how the episode ends, but you can pretty well figure out that uh, Ross Martin plays the good character, the Charles' the bad character. But uh, Badham's uh, direction this is tremendous. The makeup he used, the visuals, the famous scene in Night Gallery history, where uh, Charstead is being chased by a horse and buggy or an evil horse and buggy. And when he tries to escape, he literally uh, uh, runs in front of it and the ghost version of the horse and buggy passes through Charstead. Now, why this episode is very important is because it was kind of a tribute to the, to the doctor, uh, the cabinet doctor, Caligari, which was a, a big influence on set design for science fiction movies from uh, the 1920s on. The fact that Ross Martin uh, played a very uh, revenge character, he was going against Sykes. And of course, Ross Martin was a veteran of the Twilight Zone uh, era. He uh, played probably one of the most uh, emotionally dramatic scenes in Twilight Zone history in the one-hour episode, uh, Death Step, with Jack Klugman. I'm not going to give away the, the scene, but if you've seen it, when you know what I'm talking about. Uh, um, talking about the science fiction concept, Context: What would happen if uh, you 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 uh, jump time and saw people that are long past, but you saw them again like they were alive? Uh, a very very sad scene, but it all works together. Now it's a very quick episode. It's like Shakespearean overtones with the dialogue uh, characters. But do not watch this episode at the late at night. You're going to freak completely out. You're better to watch it during the day because night gallery can play tricks on you because. Uh, with episodes like The Waiting Room and Green Fingers and A Caterpillar because of the lateness of the hour, uh, Night Gallery would uh, appear, it would really uh, freak people out. And this is an episode that's going to freak people out because just like those Carlton and Goldie and 
you know, uh, DC comic uh, issues, uh, good prevails against evil. There's black and white in this. And this is literally a very black and white episode. And check the, the various visual tricks that John Badham, uh, Badham used to his director, to the visualization, like the green optics, the camera is pure, you know. Uh, the art direction of this is just tremendous. Makeup is tremendous. It is a top, might be a top five night gallery episode, but do it. Obviously, top ten. So on this uh, COVID Saturday, this is the second night kind of gallery of podcast I've done today. The other one, of course, is uh, Elsa Lancaster, Lancaster's uh, great version of Green Fingers, which has been done again uh, over the years, but not as effectively. Anybody that has a comment request uh, for my night gallery uh, podcast as part of remote control, please let me know. Please leave a, leave a like and subscribe. If you like what I'm doing here, please uh, pass it on and share. If you don't like it, as we say up North Shore, don't tell nobody. Because this is here for the Night Gallery fans. I'm just one media rep who has uh, written about television over the years. But with the YouTube format, it allows me to give uh, many columns uh, about episodes I think that are important to a uh, thriller TV history. And Night Gallery had possibly 20 or 25 total episodes within an episode, of course, that uh, everybody should look at to learn how good uh, NBC Universal was in presenting uh, these types of shows as part of four, uh, four and one, and uh, uh, you know, uh, part of the old cinematographers as part of the Universal group. Because a lot of people worked on Night Gallery were part of the Universal uh, creative family, uh, going back to James Whale, God bless his soul. By the way, Gods and Monsters, go watch it. Uh, it's in repeat, obviously. Uh, you know, 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 you know